Bhoga Saaf Pakistan is um, it started off from uh, the idea of us taking up a big cause which would have a significant impact uh, on the coming generations in Pakistan and one of the things that we identified was uh, kids who were dying of diarrhea in Pakistan um, about 40,000 kids every year uh, it's a huge number and then we started researching the causes for it and it seems like uh, cleanliness is one of the biggest um, interventions that you can do and to reduce the incidence of diarrhea and to reduce the in incidence of deaths by diarrhea. So essentially the government's uh, Clean Green Pakistan has three, uh, five legs out of which three we are kind of adopted. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is um, solid waste management, the other one is hand hygiene and other hygiene, uh, personal hygiene practices and the third one is safe sanitation. Safe sanitation is a space which is in the toilet and uh, very close to Harpik, so Harpik is quite engaged and uh, Healthy Habits is a space which is very close to Dettol uh, because of the brand footprint. So that basically mm -hmm. Dettol plays an active part in As we're moving along, um, there are more and more agencies and partners which are actually joining hands with us. The first ones that started off with us was uh, Atcom um, as being the creative agency and then OMD was our media partner. Walnut has been with us right from the very beginning as our PR leg and now Create Think Tank has recently joined the bandwagon as well. So target market for this entire campaign is Pakistanis, mm. right? And if I were to go uh, very core, uh, we're talking about um, primarily children because children are agents of change. And big group of uh, people that we work with or engage with directly is essentially yeah, university and college going kids. At a mass level, for example, we used last year's PSL, uh, this year's Ramadan transmission at ARY, uh, be it the show pre um, iftar or the show Jito Pakistan after iftar, very high viewership. So about 50 million people have been exposed to these messages, apart from a lot of news coverage and a lot of stuff that has been happening on ground. Then the second big uh, audience that we're talking about is the school children, as I mentioned earlier. We've already um, deployed the program to about a million uh, kids in Pakistan just this year itself. Uh, and then there is our on-ground village program where I think there are about 250 villages that we're almost um, uh, reaching to a, a open defecation free status uh, by the end of this year. People in Pakistan focus a lot of their attention on um, doing a lot of good deeds. Uh, and, in, um, and one of the bigger insights that we all kind of work towards is uh, Safai Nisviman. We work with ARY which is a partner of Ogas of Pakistan campaign and uh, we did a lot of integrations in shows where we had captive audiences so that we can start conversations about Safai in the context uh, of uh, religion and community as well as in the context of fun. See, just like any other change, um, this was also a journey. So it started off as a small thought, it started off as a few activities um, led by the CSR team um, and the general management and some senior people within the organization. But slowly and gradually, I think marketing people started seeing the utility mm. or, or, the, or the charm of it. And it took a while for everybody to get onto the bandwagon, but I think now we are really uh, on a momentum. The most positive response, immediate response comes from digital, because mm -hmm. it's the most interactive medium that you have. Um, then it's followed by one-on-one -on -one interactions, so the school programs, the villages, where you actually get the why. However, um, that's, where, that's where we started from because that was the most responsive medium. That was, again, the most, let's say, affordable medium when the program was in its pilot stage. But now that we want to make a bigger impact, which is a nationwide impact, we have to go with something like TV. The idea is very simple. The idea is that Pakistan as a nation becomes a lot more conscious about cleanliness and hygiene and understands the link between health and hygiene, that one day um, everyone in Pakistan becomes a lot more conscious about this and, and take, uh, takes the better route.